close up, y'all. Common Sense Shaver here for Shave of the Day. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, let's go over a few products what we're going to use tonight's in tonight's shave. First up, pre-shave oil. We'll be using the Lavender Pre-Shave Oil by Monroe Shaving Company. Next up is going to be Governor Shave Stick, the Governor. He's back. Uh, the scent profile on this one is black pepper, leather, patchouli, musk, and citrus notes. That's Governor. It's a very, uh, it's actually a cologne. To me, it's a cologne scent, uh, but it's, uh, it's very nice. So we're going to be using that tonight. Uh, finishing off with some black tea, black tea aftershave. So, uh, hardware, what are we going to use tonight? Hardware, I got it in two pieces right now. This is my Parker variant. Um, and inside, we've already loaded a blade. This is going to be, let me see if I can turn this so I don't cut myself. The Gillette 7 o'clock uh, Super Stainless. Super Stainless. This is the uh, green pack uh, for the color-coordinated side. So, let's line these guys up. And we'll get into the shave. How's everybody doing? Are you enjoying the springtime yet? Uh, you have to pardon me if I'm uh, start doing the sniffles or the sneezing, uh, squinty eyes, scratching eyes. The pollen is in full, full force down here. Um, shaving brush. I got a badger brush uh, soaking here. I, I've used this once before, um, not very often. But uh, this, is, this is really a no-name brush here. This is, um, it says Genuine Badger on it. Um, back when I started wet shaving, traditional wet shaving, my wife bought a kit, and this was the brush that was in it. So um, it is wore out, um, but I still use it, hang on to it, just because it was my first brush, and, um, and I've enjoyed it. So we're going to give it a shot, or give it a go tonight. So, yes. All right. Starting off with a little bit of pre-shave oil. So the weather down here is uh, warmed up. And it has been springtime this weekend. Just in time for Easter. And I guess this would be the Easter shave. I hope that uh, if you got the kiddos and you put them outside hunting Easter eggs, I hope you all had a good time. We... Um, Last weekend, we went uh, where I live in North Georgia up here. If, uh, if you can think back into your childhood memory, especially the your wives will, you, you'll, anyway, the Cabbage Patch doll. Um, probably growing up, you remember having friends or sisters or something like that that um, had the Cabbage Patch doll. Well, the Cabbage Patch factory is actually located in North Georgia, um, maybe about an hour drive from where I live. And so last weekend, they had their annual Easter egg hunt. And I don't know how many acres the factory sits on. It's a prop, it's a, well, they call it the Cabbage Patch Hospital. Um, but it's a, it's basically a, um, I'd say a mansion um, with a pretty nice green lawn out in front of it. And uh, they do an annual egg hunt up there with the kids. And so we took uh, our two kids up there for the egg hunt. 40,000 eggs. We pulled up and uh, found us a parking spot and walked up to the uh, grassy knoll there. The front lawn. 40,000 eggs in the front lawn. They were literally just throwing them out on top of the grass. Uh, 40,000 eggs, I don't, couldn't tell you how many hundreds of kids out there, but hundreds of kids. Um, and they said go, and upon go, 40,000 eggs were picked up in about a minute and a half. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. Anyway, that was last weekend, and then today we just had a small Easter egg hunt here at the house with the uh, family. So... All right, pre-shave's on. Been sitting for just a moment to uh, lube everything up. So I'm going to wet my face real quick, and we're going to get on with this soap. All right, a little bit of water on the face there prior to 
putting the shave stick on. Uh, still using the cold water. Uh, it's still enjoying those cold water shaves. So we're going to rock on with it. All right, here we go. I'm going to turn the top up on this just a little bit, like so. Add a little bit of water onto the end of it. And here we go. So anyway, that's what's been going on this weekend with my house. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed your weekend and your Easter in whatever fashion you like to celebrate it in. I think that's plenty. All right, set that off to the side there. Um, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's lather this up. Ooh, we got a lot of water in that brush. That's okay. We'll make a lather out of it anyway. Still got a whole bunch of water coming off that brush. I forget, this is a very small brush, but it is extremely dense, packed full of hairs, and it will soak up water and hold on to it. And you almost have to wring it out. But we have got a lather going on now. The weather down here has finally cooperated. We uh, Easter is over, so the farmers can get out there and start planting. That is the rule here in Georgia, is that you don't plant anything until after, after Easter. So now, we can go start our vegetable gardens. Typically, Easter means the last frost is over with, and we had a frost mm, Thursday, I believe. So typically that would be our last frost. We will see, because Mother Nature has been playing tricks on us all year. All right, here we go. We're going to start off with that right there. Uh, using the Parker variant. Um... So the Parker variant has several settings on it. I usually, I think one video not too long ago, I actually used it at a five setting. Um, you can actually go past five on the Parker variant. Now, some models may be a little different than others, but generally speaking, if you turn the knob until it lets go of the thread, you can feel it right there where it is easily turned back and forth. And then right there, it starts to snug up a little bit. Where it starts to snug up is the three, all right? That's past the five, and it wraps back around one, two, and three. Um, you can actually shave above the five. Um, I typically, when I sell these to individuals, I tell them um, anything above an eight or above wrapping around five plus three is eight uh, is uh, about as far as you want to go aggressive-wise. Um, I, I think Paul H. actually did one where he went up to 10, and the only difference is, and I'll show you, and he demonstrated the same thing, is at 10, there's play in the head. There's a little springy action because the threads have actually let go of that snugness. So if you take it back to where it snugs up, that's a 3, and that's where we're going to hang out. So this would be an 8. So we are going to shave variant, Parker variant number 8 is where we're shaving at. So here we go, first pass with the grain. And hopefully, 
I won't hurt myself. I have never done this aggressive with this razor. Matter of fact, minus doing my shavettes, it's about as aggressive as I've been on any razor. But this, I don't know if you can hear it. It's not bad. Mmm. Got a little bit right there. I felt that one. It is aggressive. Gonna have a weeper right there. I think that was a little bump. Um, this is definitely a treat to see me shave at a such a high number with this variant. I don't think I'll be doing it again soon and definitely not something that I will be doing frequently. Nice and slow as a road at that type of aggression. I mean, that blade is, boy, it is on the skin. Matter of fact, even with a shavette, I don't think I'm that aggressive or it doesn't feel that aggressive with a shavette and probably if I'm looking at the side looking at the blade the curvature of the blade as it sits there's not much curvature but either way there is pass number one done all right, I'm gonna wipe that off and I'll be right back. Just add a little bit of water in my face to kind of smooth it out. Got that slickness going. Get the shaving cream out of my ears. All right, so here we go. Pass number two. Plenty of shaving cream, by the way, come off that little bit of stick I used. <laughs> I'm throwing it everywhere. Look at that. Look at all that. Pass number two. Oh, we're going to stick with it. We're just going to stay at eight. Let's rock and roll. Now, I usually shave a little faster than this, but with that type of aggression, turn that thing sideways a little bit. See how that kind of creating a slant. It's 
not really a slant. But instead of coming 90 degrees, tilting it just a little bit and coming across. Now I say this, I don't know why. Anybody would really want to shave above a five on this. Personal opinion. You can, because I am, but That's just a little too much aggression for me, for my personal liking. I guess if you grow hair by the hour, <laughs> and you know what I mean when I say that, you get your, your five o'clock shadow from a, you get up in the morning, you shave, and you have a five o'clock shadow at noon. I guess... This would be a setting that you might play with, but for me, that's a little bit too aggressive. Nice shave, though. I mean, it got everything. Oh, man, a little freckle or a pimple coming up I hadn't ever seen before. How about up close and personal on my face? How's that? Uh, hmm. That's something new. Always something new. All right. I'm going to rinse this off. I'll be right back. All right. Rinse the face off there a little bit. It's like a shaving cream over there. But for two passes, I'm not going three. Um, don't really feel the need that I need to. But Alan Block, woo, 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 hey, yeah. Like I said, it was aggressive. Huh. I hadn't had a sting like that in a long time. So you can, uh, like I said, you can go above the five on the variant. Um, I wouldn't go above an eight, uh, and I tell everybody, like I said, when I sell a variant, I do tell them you can shave up to an eight, but I tell people that they generally don't need to go above a five. Um, I just don't see a reason why to go above a five. A five will do just fine. And I know the, uh, the future future, future, however you want to say it. People talk about the main sheen and the different settings. You click it down, it goes 10 or 5. Or I, don't, I don't own one, so I don't know. I've just seen some of the videos where people say there's so many different settings on it. Uh, and that's fine if that's, if that's something that you're into. Um, you've got one of those razors. You know, the main thing is, is that you find the setting that you like and you stick with them. Uh, for me, on the Parker variant, generally don't go above a five. You just saw me go above a five. <laughs> I can't say I'm going to do that again. <laughs> uh, very close shave, though. Very close. Very, very close shave. I mean, it got... If I had a small rise or a pimple or anything, it is officially gone. It got them. So... Clean up a brush real quick. All right. So let that dry for a moment. Now that uh, it's dried, I'm going to uh, rinse it off, and we'll do some aftershave. All right. Not a bad shave. 
Not terrible, not my best, not my favorite, but it wasn't terrible. It wasn't, well, <laughs> I ain't doing that one again. <clears throat> not on that setting. Uh, the blade seemed to perform very, very well. I had a whole little over 24 hours worth of growth, probably somewhere in the 30 hours worth of growth, maybe somewhere in there. Um, but two passes, super, super job at getting everything. Uh, I mean, BBS, as far as I'm concerned, in two passes, good to go. All right, a little after shave. And that'll seal all that up very nice, easy, and good, and moistured, and smells good too. Woo. I mowed the grass this morning so that the yard will be ready for Easter eggs this afternoon. Oh, I survived, but barely. My nose has been running ever since. All right, there we go. That is on. All right, we'll recap real quick. Uh, get all the water off of me. Lavender pre-shave oil. Very, very nice to get things started. Uh, the shave stick, Governor Shave Stick. There it is right there. Um, very good. I've really enjoyed that. Smells good. Smells, smells very, uh, well, cologne -y. And then, of course, the aftershave was the black tea aftershave. And that's a nice, it's already soaked in, nice and smooth, very good. All right, Parker variant on the number eight. Can't say I'm going to do that again. Um, won't do anything over a five. Usually I prefer to stick around a three. I get on a three, I can do uh, two passes and a touch up and be perfectly fine. Um, I do, Two passes usually where I'm at anyway. On that eight, that's guaranteed all I need. Didn't even need to do any pickups because Lord of mercy, it got it all. Um, but like on a three, I'm comfortable with it. I'm fast with it. You know, I don't mind doing a couple extra passes at a low setting with the variant. Uh, be interesting to see what your thoughts are out there as far as the settings and how many passes you would need uh, with those of you that own a variant. Um, and then the blade that we use, I didn't show the wrapper. I just showed the blade in the razor. But this was the green pack, the Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stainless is what we use. So we'll be, we'll be using those this month <coughs> um, throughout my various razors uh, all the way to the end. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's all I got. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in and uh, joining me. Um, if you got any comments, put some comments down below. I always like, like reading the comments. And if you comment, generally speaking, I will comment back with you. Um, so yes, uh, I hope that you all had a wonderful Easter and enjoyed the time with your family or whatever it is that you do to celebrate Easter, uh, and all the festivities that go along with it. Um, other than that, if you like what you see, please press, press the like button down below and subscribe if you first time seen it and uh, enjoyed it. Check out some of the other videos. Uh, other than that, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy your week. And as always, guys, be kind, be nice, and happy shaves.